from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi everyone, I'm Marcy Jones. Here are some of the top stories we're following this Friday. A teenager is dead after the car he was riding in crashed into a utility pole in Salisbury. This happened just after 6 yesterday evening. Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where it happened on Route 44 East near Twin Lakes Road. While the driver only sustained minor injuries, troopers have identified the victim as 19-year-old Jason Tatunic of Sarasota, Florida. We've learned the identity of the man killed in the motorcycle crash in Rocky Hill yesterday. That man is Lloyd Montague of Windsor. Here's a look at the aftermath of that crash on Cromwell Avenue. Police say the motorcycle was heading north when a car pulled out of a nearby parking lot. First responders rushed Montague to the hospital, where sadly he did not survive his injuries. New Haven police are investigating after a gunshot victim arrived at Yale New Haven Hospital last night just after 8.15. Thankfully, that victim will survive. At this time, there are no details of the suspect. However, Hamden police are looking into reports of gunfire from around the same time last night. Police are also asking anyone with information to come forward. A dry summer day for most across Connecticut, and we've got uh, more dry weather on the way tonight. An early morning future cast showing tomorrow's weather today, actually showing some improvements as we get into the day tomorrow, too. We run the risk of some clouds uh, overnight tonight with perhaps a pop-up shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon on Saturday, but the day looks largely dry. Sunday is when things trend a bit more unsettled, and we want to give you the early warning that we're a forecast the potential for some very heavy rain sometimes Sunday, later Sunday into Monday. And we actually have issued an early warning weather alert to highlight that risk because we have a renewed risk of flooding given how much rain we have already seen. So certainly some active weather to end off the week and a soggy start next week as well. For Saturday, highs inland in the uh, upper 80s at the shoreline, uh, low to mid 80s. We're expecting all Statewide temps will likely be in the mid 80s on Sunday and then by Monday, a much cooler lower half of the 80s, an active weather day, heavy rain, thunderstorms possible. That's the day where we uh, could potentially see some flooding across the state. But by Tuesday, we do start to improve a bit. And then Wednesday next week, we dry things out 85 to 90 degrees as sunshine returns to Connecticut.